In our health gals today, a brand new study is underway right here in South Florida that researchers hope will improve radiation treatment for children and young adults with brain tumors. The investigation is underway at Baptist Health's Miami Cancer Institute. It's looking at ways to optimize outcomes and reduce risks for pediatric patients from newborn to age 21. We are looking at the children with MRI to assess their brain and assess the normal organs within the brain. Um, both at baseline and then during follow-up out to five years beyond radiation treatment. And we anticipate that as more radiation is given to certain brain substructures, such as the hippocampus, which is responsible for memory, or perhaps another area of the brain that is responsible for emotions or attention, that we may be able to see anatomic changes, shrinkage or atrophy within those segments of the brain. And we might use this to predict who is going to be um, affected by radiation and who might not be. And that is radi radiation oncologist Dr. Matthew Hall right there saying that approximately 12,000 children in the U.S. will be diagnosed per year with this cancer and around 60% will need radiation for their treatment. And a surgical team with the National Institutes of Health has successfully implanted a patch of tissue made from patient stem cells as a potential treatment for advanced dry age related macular degeneration or AMD. It is the leading cause of vision loss among older Americans and currently there is no treatment. This surgery is the culmination of about 10 years of research and development. And night owls may be more at risk of chronic disease. That's according to another new study. Researchers say those who stay up late often sleep in, making them more sedentary and less fit and insulin resistant. The study shows that a group of people are more prone to type 2 diabetes and heart disease when they stay up late.